the goods. You've got the money. Thanks, man. It's a canonical example of a game analyzed in game theory, and it shows why two purely rational individuals might not cooperate, even if it appears it is in their best interest to do so. Each student is confined to the lecture theater with no means of speaking to each other. The teachers admit that they do not have enough evidence to punish the pair on the principal charge, hence they plan to punish both of them on a lesser charge, mischief. Simultaneously, the teachers offer each student a fortune bargain. Each student is given the opportunity to betray the other by testifying that the other committed the crime. Here's how it goes. If both Ellen and Bob were to stay silent and cooperate, both of them will receive one week of corrective work order. If Ellen were to betray and Bob were to remain silent, Ellen would go scot-free, while Bob would receive one month of corrective work order. Similarly, if Bob were to betray and Ellen were to remain quiet, Bob would go off scot-free, while Ellen will receive one month of corrective work order. Lastly, if both of them were to betray each other, both of them will receive three weeks of corrective work order. The maximum reward for each player is obtained only when the player's decisions are different. Each player improves his own situation by switching from cooperating to defecting, given knowledge that the other player's best decision is to defect. The prisoner's dilemma thus is a single Nash equilibrium, both players choosing to defect. What is interesting is the fact that this scenario is globally inferior to both cooperating. That is, both players would be better off if they both chose to cooperate, instead of both choosing to defect. However, each player could improve his own situation by breaking the mutual cooperation. It is assumed that both understand the nature of the game, and that despite being members of the same gang, they have no loyalty to each other, and will have no opportunity for retribution or reward outside the game. Most importantly, a very narrow interpretation of rationality is applied in defining the decision-making strategies. Given these conditions and the payouts above, student A will betray student B. The game is symmetric, so student B should act the same way. Traditional game theory results in both players being worse off, and thus spending more time doing corrective work author. 